Today on the YouTube channel, we are going to be going over the best water bottles that you should be switching to and the effects of different types of water bottles can have on you chemically. And then um, on the podcast, I'm going to go over some research that's that I did just because I didn't have enough time to really do a real dive in of a scientific paper on the environment, but I don't want to, you know, keep you guys from anything. So I'll be going over to, I'll be going over my research in DNA Gila cases, and I hope you enjoy it. To my channel, I think this is going to be our last review of what water bottles are best for the environment, also for our health. So, um, like we talked about in the past, your regular old plastic water bottle. This is some hard plastic, um, and this is like some metal to me because it's from one of my first real dates with my boyfriend. We're coming up in on four years, woo. But the thing is, is that like, this is the same straw from back then too, and it's like how much bacteria is withstood on this, um, and you know, it's just over time, this is gonna tear da wear down more, and it has BPA in it, which is a chemical that's linked to, you know, cancer. <laughs> so we don't want that because when this is facing a stressor, like being in the microwave, being out in the sun, the UV rays from the sun, or being in the dishwasher, the dishwasher that we're using to clean this is releasing those toxins to the outermost coating of the cup. So if you took this, right out of the dishwasher after it's been used, you fill it with water, you're going to be drinking all those chemicals. Because the, the dishwasher is a stressor. So, scary. <laughs> so that's this one. Next we have this. The BPA-free water bottle. That was what I talked about last week. And I've been sitting on this, and I've really been thinking about it, and it's just not... It's squishier than this. This does not give any give. It's a hard plastic. This, I feel like it's supposed to be a hard plastic and it kind of has a little bit of a give and like it's BPA free but just like this one it's plastic. So both of these under those same stressors will give off estrogen like chemicals. So you know how some people um, can't whenever they take birth control they need to have estrogen free birth control because um, they've had, you know, someone in their family has had breast cancer or some sort of like female cancer in the past. And so, you know, you don't want to be giving your body extra estrogen to feed that potential cancer. Guess what? Plastics do that. Plastics under these stressors, like the microwave the sun, the dishwasher, release these estrogen-like chemicals that can feed to your cancer, your possible cancer. That's also why I am really like, is BPA-free still good for you? If you're not, BPA is a chemical that's linked to cancer, and, you know, studies have shown that pregnant women who have who eat food that's been wrapped up in plastic that has released this BPA onto the food, then nothing happens to the mom, nothing really bad happens to the baby, but it kind of affects um, their brain and their um, reproductive organs. So, like, women aren't as fertile and men have lower sperm counts. That's why, like, over the last several generations, the sperm count overall, like on average, has gone down in men. And with increasing plastic use, there's been a decrease in fertility rates. Sperm counts are lower. Is this Handmaid's Tale? I don't know, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit about Handmaid's Tale happening. If you haven't seen it, it's a great show. It's on Hulu. It makes you cry a lot. It makes me really nervous because People don't talk about how there's, you know, low sperm counts out there and fertility is lower among people. So, it could happen. It, we're facing those problems, but we're not talking about it. So, 
one problem at a time, you know, deal with this pandemic first and then we'll get to that. But yeah, so we don't want estrogen-like chemicals. We don't want BPA when we're pregnant. We don't want estrogen-like chemicals because that can feed to female-related cancers. So, that's not good. Um, my grandmother died of ovarian cancer, so I am <laughs> a little extra cautious. <laughs> so, last time I talked about with this water bottle, I said this was like $5, I think, with shipping and everything. Um... Because I think it cost a dollar, but then shipping was like four dollars on the Wish app. And the thing is, though, is that it's like it, it's so much smaller. It doesn't hold as much. Like this holds 550 milliliters. This holds doesn't say a lot more though. Why doesn't it say? This holds more though. You can even see from the size, like it. It just holds more water, you know? So, before I said that this is better than just plastic because, you know, it, you know, it doesn't hold as much water still, or as much liquid, it doesn't have BPA in it. Western isn't good either. So what should we get? Glass water bottles, okay? I have, I've had previous glass water bottles that um, there's no print on it, there's nothing fancy on it, so I didn't feel like talking about it, because I know some people may be like, well, I like cute designs on my water bottle. Um, and, like, the really basic ones, you could totally get um, for, like, a dollar or something at the dollar store. I checked, they're at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. The basic-looking ones without, without, you know, a print on it. But I went to Target today, and they have these... These fancy printed ones, let me pull this other one out, this one's yellow, like holy crap, for $5. I bought two of them because I plan on purging all of my other plastic water bottles because these don't have any plastic. They're better for the environment because we're not going to get rid of them and even if we did get rid of them, we wouldn't be putting more plastic in our ocean. There's more microplastics in the ocean than there are fish, okay? Let's not go to that rant again because I'm sure, sure you've heard it a million times, but for me at least. The fish, the small fish, the microplastic smells like food to them, so then they eat it, and then bigger fish eat them, and then we eat those fish, and then we have microplastics in us. So, be careful. Anyways, um, but yeah, so these, like, I'm so excited. They're so cute. They're only $5. Well, also they're glass, so be careful. But, like, this <laughs> was $5 in total, and... Let me put one of these down so I don't break something. Lord. And look how much more water is in this one. No competition. No competition. No estrogen like chemicals. More water. Like, not a competition. Not a competition at all. And if you're thinking, where am I getting these estrogen like chemicals from? I did a podcast on it. Um,. Save the Environment 911, it's on Spotify. I did um, about BPA free and regular plastic and how they both aren't good for you. Um, and I read through a research article because sometimes it's hard to, you know, you'd be interested in this sort of stuff. But it's like, I don't really know how to read these scientific articles because I'm not a scientist, I don't know what all these words mean. I got you back. Fem and STEM, that's me, I'm a chemist. And I'm here to help you read through those scientific papers. I'm here to help you understand what's going on, you know? Um, but anyways, so this one's empty. But let's see. So, downside is that um, you should only hand wash this. I guess these stickers could come off or something. Um... You should wash before you use, obviously, and they're not microwave safe, but why would, why would you put this in the microwave? Like, it has metal on it, but I guess you have to say that. Um, 660 milliliters. It's 110 extra milliliters in this compared to that. So, 
even if though visually it looks like more, sometimes visuals can be more deceiving. It's still more. If we compare it to like, I'm gonna say this is your average water, like plastic water bottle, because a lot of them have this same shape, or they have like the same height and width going on, but still like, it doesn't hold as much up top, like right over here, but still like it's a little taller. It still seems good to me. I, you would maybe lose a few milliliters, but not like a lot. Um, I'm switching to plastic to this glass. Also, um, this isn't, this top isn't plastic either. I was worried about that. It's not plastic. It's ceramic. And the seal has silicone. So it's not plastic either. So there's no plastic involved in this at all. And I know they're selling these at Target right now because it's a summer, a summer vacation, like a summery vibe. But I mean, I would hop on that and get this because it's so much better for you. Chemically, it's so much better for you. That's why chemists, we only do research with glass. We don't use plastic. Like, glass is just so much more precise like in measuring and stuff we use volumetric pipettes they're so much more precise than those plastic things um but also glass doesn't react with anything that's the that's the bright side of glass is that it reacts with nothing and as a chemist i'll tell you it does not because you know plastic is basically a chemical and when you take another chemical like soda or something and you wrap your soda chemical up in this plastic chemical. Chemicals react. Some reaction is bound to happen. Nothing reacts with glass. That's why we use them. So, ditch your plastic, go to Target, they're open for some reason during this pandemic, and get you a cute glass water bottle. Thank you guys for watching. That's all I have to say for today. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so I know what content you guys like and how and you know comment down below your questions about um, the environment, the chemistry side, something in chemistry you want me to analyze. If you want me to go over like organic, bitch, I love organic. I could do a whole lesson on organic, like deals all the reaction. That's my favorite reaction. Also, I just I also want to be a teacher. So like, you want me to do like how to, organic, I will, I will. So comment down below what, what you want to see me do in the future and that's it, okay, bye guys.